we can only accept our own for us to be admired from elsewhere. So we want to rally all our students, all the student councils, all the youth organizations. support him with my brains, with my experience, and all my body parts, and all my body organs. Him. Those people, the, the, the Asian tigers, the panthera of Europe, that you have the lion of Africa that is now called Baba. For now, we'll rally as the comrades country. We'll do. We won't sleep up to today to make sure that Baba wins with a land. I'm also going to expose all those lecturers who have been privately being involved with female students or vice versa. All those kind of things which have been happening by the scenes. You know, it's all about the character. Mm -hmm. So, uh, personally, I'm ready to pay for their therapy because they've undergone uh, such a, 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 you know, a drastic and a dramatic. And welcome. We are right here with Comrade 001, Anthony Manyara, together with his team. I'll first of all give them a chance to introduce their, themselves before Tambia Labda. Lengo, uh, objective Leoni Gani. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. My name is Anthony Manyara. Yeah. I'm the president for East African Students Union. We call it IASU. Yeah. Also doubling as the president for Kenya University Students Organization, which our fellow Kenyans, they know as KUSO. Mm -hmm. uh, today, I believe it's a, very, uh, it's a very historic day in our country mm -hmm. because uh, all our citizens have rallied behind uh, the right honorable Raila Molo Odinga. Okay is candidate for the African Union Commission chairperson, mm -hmm. which we have seen, it's very wise as comrades, not just in Kenya, but also in the East African space, to endorse in unison. We have agreed unanimously, the more than 8 million students, mm -hmm. through their representatives, we had a special na national steering committee uh, meeting, mm -hmm. which we incorporated national leaders from various countries, from various uh, various national youth uh, student councils of various countries mm -hmm. and uh, today at around 2 p.m we agreed as youths or rather as young people mm -hmm. we are going to help uh, the right honor Raila Molo Dinga to do campaigns not just uh, it won't be just an affair of adults yeah. because we know the youth are the future of uh, not just this country but also in the East African space mm -hmm. we can only accept our own for us to be admired from elsewhere so we want to rally all our students all the student councils all the youth organizations all the youth councils every young people in the east african space we want to call upon them to come out vocally to support him and then number two uh, the reason as to why we have seen it wise to address the media is so that to inform the public that We'll be having two meetings. Mm -hmm. We have started uh, helping Raila do campaigns. We'll have a meeting uh, in Arusha. This weekend will be in Arusha, mobilizing our student leaders. And then we'll go to Bujubura in Burundi. Uh, we want to uh, expand this campaign to not just be about Raila. It is about Africa. We want Africa which is united, which is progressive, which is inspiring, and it is creating opportunities for the youth. Remember, we have uh, African Union Agenda 2063, even in Kenya, we had a Vision 2030. These are blueprints which we expect them to be achieved. And looking at the prospects, we're looking at the history and the legacy of Raila Molo Odinga, mm -hmm. it resonates very well with these progressive uh, ideologies that he envisions to champion, or rather to achieve, as the chairperson for African Union yeah. Commission. Mm -hmm. I think that is basically what we want, wanted to say. It is basically a, an endorsement and to tell East Africans will be in, will be right at their doorsteps, mm -hmm. campaigning for the right to honorable Raila Molo We get to hear from our uh, first lady Nemo. What do you have to say about it? <clears throat> Thank you very much, Kenyans. My name is Naima Sheikh Abdikadir, Commonwealth Youth Council nominee for Vice Chair Inclusion and Engagement. And uh, tonight, I just want to rally behind our father, the father of democracy, as a Pan Africanist. As, 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 a, as a daughter of Raila Molo Odinga, um, I have campaigned with him and uh, I've had the opportunity to interact with him one on one. And I want to just give my support, whether it is expertise, whether it is uh, with experience, whether it is with, you know, uh, 
talking to the young people. We are ready for the campaign. It has, uh, the president has kick-started it today. We have seen several head of states in uh, our country today. Indeed, the president, H.E. William Samoy Ruto, has made Kenya look like a very democratic country whereby uh, people disagree to agree. And this is the Kenya we want. So we are here to ensure Raila that we will fight tooth and nail to, and ensure that he is the AU chairman. And apart from that, as a Muslim and a Somali, he can personally assign to me the role of going to Djibouti. I can speak to Mahamud, Mahamud on behalf of, of, of HE Raila, the Right Honorable Raila Molo Odinga, to step down for Baba because. Baba and him can never be on the same level. Uh -huh. <laughs> the right honorable, uh, the right honorable Raila Molo Odinga's profile is not something that we can speak about today or tomorrow. He has a huge profile, huge achievements, and therefore I want to declare my support for Raila Molo Odinga. I will support him with my brains, with my experience, and all my body parts and all my body organs. Uh -huh. you know, before we, <laughs> we hear from uh, Mr. here, there's something you've mentioned about talking to uh, the President Djibouti. Yes. Are you planning to do something, Don't maybe make a trip there? Yes, because uh, Djibouti is, a, is a, basically, I'm a Somali, but I'm, I'm a Kenyan, right? So Djibouti people are Somalis, but they're Djiboutians. So I think maybe he will understand my language better because he's a Muslim like me and uh, he's a Somali like me. Tunaeza weka mkeka kwa sababu sisi in our culture we have what we call negotiated democracy. So we can we can call on board Waze uh, or wa Somalia because even uh, we have seen uh, former foreign minister Ule Mama wa Somalia and he stepped down for Raila. So who is Mahmoud not to step down for uh, our enigma? Yeah, so we will to the Pelekam Kekam to Kajabuti to Kalisha Umze to Mombi and Hasawe Abo Jatosha Baba and Dio Baba and Dio Mamboyote. So eh, Kakando Kidogo. We support Muse, Akimaliza and Amnai, Amnai to Tawana Vinay Tokupa, to Tokupanga, and the Viva Sasa. Like you could not get to Tutnataka could be a Sabu Mesema if Raila gave you that um, role. Yes, you will do it. Yes. But now the question is do you really have to wait for Raila to give you that role? No, you know, as a young person, uh -huh. hii ni kujituma. Okay. Me, sisi tunasemanga, as young people, form ni kujitu. So mimi na jituma mpaka jibuti. Raila does not have to send me. He does not have to give me air ticket. We will we will lobby here and there. Power is taken and grabbed. So we must ensure this seat comes back to Kenya. Because I'm a patriotic Kenyan, by fire, by bullet, by everything. <laughs> we will ensure, uh -huh. that's just on a light note, uh -huh. that this ikitu irudi, Kenya. Uh -huh. How do we ensure this? We as citizens and as young people, as promising leaders, we need to stay, take steps. Uh -huh. Sio lazima uongoje kiongoje kwambi atienda hapo ni ata kama my efforts will not bear fruits. I will still try because uh, 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 you know a risk taken is better than no so, risk at all. Uh -huh. So Djibouti is probably your next stop. Djibouti is definitely my next stop uh -huh. and I'm going there after Bujumbura, uh -huh. yes. After Bujumbura and Arusha, Djibouti is our next to ensure that Mahmoud has stepped down for one enigma, Raila Molo or Dinga. Uh -huh. right. uh -huh. Thank you. Maybe introduce yourself. My name is Elvis Otieno, yeah. Alice the Beast. Mm -hmm. I'm the president of Technical University of Mombasa, the only university at the sea level. Uh -huh. I'm also doubling up as the spokesperson, mm -hmm. the secretary general of Kenya University Student Organization, mm -hmm. the spokesperson of the, another country on itself, the, con the comrades country. Uh -huh. Actually, as I speak, I have a vote for Raila because I'm a president mm -hmm. and I'm leading Congress. That's a country in itself. Uh -huh. Thank you. For the today, mm -hmm. I'll just address as a scholar of geopolitics. It is a, a great day for this country. Uh -huh. Today, we have a lion of Africa. My, mine will be short and brief. I want to give those people, the, the, the Asian tigers, the panthera of Europe, mm -hmm. that you have the lion of Africa that is now called Baba. For now, we'll rally as the comrades' country. We'll do. We won't sleep up to today to make sure that Baba wins with a landslide victory. Why do we say that Baba deserves this? With the experience of the democracy, and he has even served 
as the head of the infrastructure across the Africa. We can't compare. All these are the juniors. Keep ready it's, and we'll be ready for a landslide victory. Thank uh -huh. you. Uh -huh. Maybe we get, we get to hear from uh, Anthony. I have two more questions before we finish up. Yeah. Um, since Baba Raila Odinga is uh, going for this position, the AU Chairmanship, probably what should students specifically expect from him? Uh, first of all, I would like to say that uh, this candidate of Raila is not just about himself. Yeah. As you have seen the country itself, mm -hmm. including our president, William Samoy Ruto, mm -hmm. they have made it a national affair. Mm -hmm. They have even invited various presidents. Affair. They mm -hmm. have invited presidents. Mm -hmm. And even as we speak, I've received so many calls mm -hmm. from very senior people in different governments. Mm -hmm. And also they want to uh, they want they want to influence their president also, mm -hmm. even from the western region, that is the west of Africa, mm -hmm. from the southern parts. We want this candidate to be all about Raila Amolo uh -huh. Remember, apart from Olisegun or Basajo, there are only two people in Africa who look like the father figure. There is Obasajo and there is Raila Amolo uh -huh. Us as students, we'll make a stand that whatever voting is being done, uh -huh. this time around, what wana semanga tikura ya baba inaenda iki, iki uendiwa. <laughs> but trust me you, this is a strict warning. Afadhali sisi wote we facilitate our students mm -hmm. tuweke kwa buses tunaenda kuchunga hiyo kura hadi sababu tutakuwa agents wa hiyo kura mm -hmm. tuhakikishe ya kwamba baba amepata hiyo kitu uh -huh. this is the first time we are closest to power mm -hmm. and trust me you will get it uh -huh. yes now maybe a final question from me so today we've been having a couple of trending videos of university students who have been uh, caught cheating in exam rooms yeah. as a student leader for the longest time ever what are you? I don't know. Come on, I defend comrade. Niliona, <laughs> Niliona, you maneno. Uh -huh. But trust me, you, uh, Shiko, you will tell me that uh, cheating is uh, very tempting. Yeah. And uh, it's not a sin, mm -hmm. but it is, uh, how do I say, legally, mm -hmm. it's something which is not supposed to happen. Yeah. As school, so we don't support cheating. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we try to help students who universities use very draconian policies to punish those mm -hmm. students sometimes they even expel students for more than two years which is going overboard mm -hmm. but what i saw online was very disheartening and very discouraging because it is very wrong to video or rather to take a video of a mm -hmm. student uh, who is involved in cheating with those things because you are destroying the character of that student remember we are in the universities to get ourselves a better future right mm -hmm. to assure ourselves a better future now when you when you do that kind of video it is disparaging and it is destroying the character of that student, making him making that student uh, the chances of that student getting even a job becomes very much reduced it is a serious but keep it between why do you subject a student to a disciplinary uh, committee. committee and punish them actually Videographing them and putting it in public is even is even the worst kind of punishment you can do to a student. Because Kenyans have seen these are students who is half baked. Who exam, but we retake or supplementary or whatever it is. that that was not right. So we want to say, next time a lecturer tries that. As Kuso will take a stand, we are also going to expose all those lecturers who have been privately being involved with female students or vice versa. All those kind of things which have been happening by the scenes. You know, it's all about the character. Mm -hmm. So, I will just want to tell lecturers at the universities. We'll send a circular to all universities, vice chancellors. They should be able to give a directive to their lecturers mm -hmm. that this kind of behavior is unacceptable. It's like telling someone to expose themselves because they are maybe not using condom, which are which are majorly uh, supplied in our institutions. No, no. These are private issues, you know. There are things you're supposed to put public and others you're not supposed to put public. What we saw online was very bad and we condemn it using the highest terms possible. Uh -huh. So this means as a student leader, probably next time you're going to take a step against maybe lecturers. Who do we will strip Nick and that lecturer will try that bullshit again. Trust me. Mtu wajaribu taina kuchukua wanafunzi picha. 
aweke social media trust me hiyo lecture tutamwendea mahali atakuwa is these are strict warning and we will do it it is wrong what they did it's wrong it is punishable it is demonic it is evil wanafunzi ya kiiba kwani ameua mtu si anapitia disciplinary committee right na anapelekwa nyumbani sijui anapewa 2 years or 1 year or whatever it is everyone does a sin wakati mwingine unaiba sukari wakati mwingine chumvi are you killed for that really you have not i mean theft is not murder right we are not really encouraging uh, cheating but video i mean taking videos of those students was wrong you are jeopardizing their future you are suppressing their voices you are you are, you are doing harm to their future mm -hmm. and it's not right uh -huh. that is our stand uh -huh. yeah. with that said maybe have you taken any step of uh, maybe looking for the students who are exposed to in those videos we have written to the university we want to get their details so that uh, since already they have been castigated online mm -hmm. we want them to to be pardoned so that they continue the exam that they did itengenezo ingine wafanye hiyo exam yao kumbuka medicine is a very tough course it's just like architecture which i did these courses are very tough it's not like uh, taking I, okay, i don't want to classify courses but these students undergo a lot of stress you know these hard courses they even cause students to have depression i think parents who are watching they know our wanafunzi they don't they don't even live normal lives there are those even students who are sustaining their lives in campus through influence on drugs which we try as much as possible to to curb so undergoing such stress pia ya kuwekwa online and you are supposed to be a doctor yule daktari atakuoperatia aji mwili na ukilimuona 5 years ago kwa video so i don't think it's right so we are going to take we are going to take action first of all i we are we have written to the university tomorrow we, if they don't respond then we will talk to the acting vice chancellor for the university of nairobi uh, hutchinson we look for a solution we want that vice chancellor we want the, the, that lecturer who did that or whoever who are who, the people who are involved in taking those videos they have to go for they have to go to proceed on leave they have to leave they have to i think it won't be business as usual trust me but that's a warning because next time we will not handle this situation the way we are, we are doing it yego ni even another university this would even been a, a much easier game we would have taken even a more radical uh, way of solving the issue yeah. and maybe pengine to hold up on more concerning that issue you know one of them was a muslim lady when you are doing maybe pengine anatumia dini pia kuiba and vizo mapazi za kuchegika so sijione nasema nini kuhusu eh asante sana the chairman has already highlighted on what has been going uh, on and i feel like uh, you know th this is the reason why we have laws at the university we have disciplinary committee we have the senate to do this kind of you know uh, uh, to solve this kind of issues so first of all i want to condemn the lecturer who used a uh, religion you understand to 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 you know show the world that why do you you know why do you is it stereotyping am i profiling yeah why do you profile someone's religion because they have cheated okay most of the people that were, were, were i mean there were so many other different religions but why are you specifically mentioning islam in our country kenya we are we are living peacefully we are coexisting and uh, i don't think it was necessary for the lecturer to mention dinia mtu mwingine because that was very wrong because i'm sure tomorrow religious leaders will will, will con condemn this act and this kind of lecturers uh, you know sometimes make us think that they have not undergone professional maybe at all likuja through cheating because i'm like why are you you know you understand you are a lecturer you understand the law you you understand languages you understand a uh, uh, profiling but you are here uh, 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 talking about someone's religion so that is very wrong we don't encourage students and young people to go uh, the way of cheating but we will ensure that any person or any lecturer that is you know ruining the lives of 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 young students and comrades by exposing them to the world and you know very well right now the most dangerous weapon we have in this uh, world is media and once you kitu ishike viral yende online 
there is no way yeah you can redeem yourself because already you have been exposed badly mm -hmm. so this is destroying the reputation and the mental state of that person because they will not have even a self-esteem to come and have coffee with us the next time because they will feel they are lesser of you understand because of the criticism and uh, and and uh, you know stigma. Uh, stigma they will go through uh, online so we want to offer our support to those uh, students uh, personally i'm ready to pay for their therapy because they have undergone uh, such a, a, a you know a drastic and a dramatic uh, evening or morning during uh, that session so we are ready to offer our support and we tell them uh, you're welcome you can always you know uh, be given second chances in life uh, you are not a murderer you have not done something you will be chased away from the society so you're welcome guys we will ensure we reach out to young people yeah yeah that's what i was i, I was I, I, I was almost highlighting that these lecturers i think it is time for the ministry of education to uh, come up with a program to train teachers and lecturers we end up ksg four weeks so a big way in a charge training in guinea kali ndio wakikuja university they don't blabber or anasema unajua kuna lecturers wengine they just because umefanya makosa anakuja anakwambia wewe anakuongelesha vibaya so i think we need this kind of trainings uh, ministry of education we plead with you to you know oh, ensure to come up with a program oh, yes oh, yes wapelekwe training actually generally ndio wasikue wana misbehave uh, like that and behave like that so ksg they, they, they will welcome them Minister of Education, we have a, a work to do to take them for four weeks training. Uh, the young people, we are ready to offer you support, therapy. If you need an, a listening ear, you can always have a second chance in life. So, yeah, yeah that's it. I, uh, that's all I can say. Kuna watu wamefanya worse things and they still, you know, uh, had chances in life. So, yeah, we encourage them to take heart, be calm. Make, make sure you don't get uh, mental health pro problems. Just calm down. We'll find a solution mm -hmm. as a body. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. Thank you so much. Guys. Thank you so much, Chico and the team. Uh, you, you really play a big role and support the young people uh, of this nation. So, mubarikiwe sana na sana. Mubarikiwe pia. Asante sana.